All right, what's going on guys? DJ has here, bringing you guys a shoe review video of these DJ AM dunks right here. But uh, I had my equipment out, I wanted to show you guys the turntables. Uh, so I'm going to do a little teeny teeny break of uh, a little scratch break. And I'm horrible at scratching, so uh, don't make fun. Um, I know there's a lot of other dudes out there that are way better at scratching. I'm, I'm traditionally a nightclub DJ though, there's not a lot of scratching in nightclub stuff. But here you go, I'm going to just do a little sample something for you guys. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. Nothing nothing too crazy. But I wanted to show you guys these DJM dunks. And uh, basically, uh, you know, if you guys did not know about these dunks uh, or know who DJM is, you guys are missing out. DJM is a monster. But basically, uh, DJM ended up coming up with these shoes like just like right after he ended up passing, which is just a, a shame. Um, but they're such a fresh pair of shoes, and I had to get them as soon as I saw them out. Um, you see the DJM on the tongue there. Red laces, comes with... Silver laces comes with black laces. Really cool that they did a, a triple lace pack here with these guys. Um, you see the the black patent leather around the trim here. That signifies the black uh, on the actually of the vinyl, but my vinyl is actually green. Kind of a little symbolic thing there, as well as you can see right here. This uh, little area right here is uh, symbolic of that area of the turntable. So if you guys didn't know, and a lot of times you you, you hold onto this, or they, they used to back in the day to hold this. To slow it down or whatever, like I don't know, but you can see it when it when it moves, like it just looks like one line, and you, they used to slow it down, I guess, by that. I don't I don't use that though. Um, any which way, uh, really fresh shoe, and uh, was really honored to be able to pick up a pair of these. Um, I'll show you guys the box here. A little, I got them in a size a little bit too big for me, but well, sorry about that. Throwing stuff around here. Um, here it is, Nike Dunk Premiums. Varsity Reds, 125, not a bad price for these guys. Um, any which way, yeah, I didn't want to show you guys too much about my turntables. I'm not really, I'm a, a DJ by trade. I've, I've been DJing since college, and uh, and you know I, I DJ like nightclubs and like weddings and corporate events and stuff. My setup is, uh, I mean, I use my MacBook. I got my my turntables, my Technic 1200s. Uh, if you guys don't know, those are like the best you can get right here. These guys right here. Um, and I have the MK5s, so they're pretty spendy. Uh, I got my Shure M447 needles on right there. Um, the mixer is a Rain uh, TTM57 mixer, and there's a 57 right there. It has a program called Serato built into it, and basically plug it into your laptop, and I can play my MP3s off my laptop um, uh, and play back on my uh, turntables. That's kind of what it's about. If you guys want to see another video on that, I can just show you guys a breakdown of, you know, when I touch this turntable, when I use this crossfader here or there, or whatever it might be. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on that, leave a comment saying you guys are interested in seeing that. But I wanted to just show you guys a real quick, kind of a small demo of uh, other turntables. Again, I'm not super crazy. There's a lot of people out there that are way better than me. Maybe some of them are subscribers of mine. But, um, but again, I'm traditionally a nightclub DJ guy. But, uh, but yeah, those are the DJ AM Dunks. Um, if you guys pick these up and you guys like them, let me know. It came out in a pack as well, uh, the DJ Premier had a pat, uh, like a shoe and then there the Air Force One and then these ones were the Dunks and they came actually with limited edition press Serato vinyls which would, be, would have been pretty badass to actually get but look at, the, <laughs> look at these guys they're like what are you doing Pops because I usually don't set up stuff down here uh, but uh, but yeah I don't know let me know uh, if you guys pick these up if you guys like them if you guys think they're fresh um, I can put them on a little carousel wheel there it's a little fast though it's a little fast moving but uh yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm bummed. I was one of those people that bummed that the AM ended up passing. And, uh, you know, he was a great talent. And I ended up, uh, luckily for me, I ended up actually going to Vegas uh, one year and, and seen him at, at a nightclub called Pure. And the dude was just insane. He, the way he blended tracks together was just something else. And, uh, I mean, he could get anybody dancing on the dance, like from old, old to young or whatever. I mean, 21 to 50, I mean, people on the dance floor just jamming. So 
pretty cool time, man. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. You know, nowadays we have to deal with shit like DJ Pauly D. And like, if you guys don't know anything about DJ, and that guy's a clown. He gets these big gigs, but man, it's just ridiculous. I don't. His skill levels. Uh, I mean, I'm not a great great DJ. I'm intermediate, but his skill level is not even that. So that's enough about that. Shout out uh, to DJ Am though. If uh, yeah, because this is. This is the stuff right here. These guys are, are badass. Um, so I appreciate the fact that he was able to to be able to throw these down before he ended up uh, passing. But anyway, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys like the content, um, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks.